Hello and welcome to Car Pros. Today we're going to show you how to replace the AC condenser in a 2011 Ford Mustang. The tools needed is a ratchet, socket set, wrench set, catch basin, and an AC tool. This repair is really 4 out of 10 on the difficulty scale. First we need to drain all the coolant out of the radiator system. Go ahead and remove the reservoir cap, then get underneath the car and remove all of these plastic fascia pieces. Next, have a catch basin ready and remove this plug so all the coolant can come flowing out. Once the radiator fluid has stopped flowing, go ahead and replace that plug. Here's a close up on how to remove the clips on top of the top fascia piece, and then remove all of them. Next, unbolt the reservoir and secure it to a out of the way location. Next, remove the radiator mounts. Here we have a spring clamp removal tool. This is not necessary for the repair, but it is nice to have. A pair of channel locks will suffice. Then remove the top radiator hose.
Next, remove the airbox assembly. Next, remove the radiator overflow hose. Next, remove this radiator hose that leads into the engine. Next, remove the fan electrical connector. Next, remove the air conditioning lower and upper caps. Next, connect your AC to tool. The red line should go on the upper and the blue line on the lower. Next, we're going to drain the Freon out of the air conditioning system by twisting that valve on the left. It should go into a containment unit. Once all the Freon has been removed from the system, we can start extracting the AC condenser. Remove the two bolts on the top and the two nuts on the bottom.
Next, we can remove the two AC lines that lead into the condenser. First, undo the nut, and then just pull. Next, remove the AC condenser. Next, compare your old AC condenser to your new AC condenser and be sure that they are identical in every single way. Next, reinstall your new AC condenser. Next, replace the two bolts and two nuts that hold the AC condenser to the radiator assembly. Next, check that the O-rings on the air conditioning lines going into the AC condenser are intact. Next, insert the AC lines back into your new AC condenser, then reinstall the nut, and be sure it's on nice and tight. Then, replace those plastic fascia pieces we removed earlier.
Next, reconnect the radiator fan. Next, to reattach the radiator hose that leads in the engine we removed earlier. Next, replace the air box assembly we removed earlier. Next, replace the radiator mounts. Next, put your radiator reservoir back where it was earlier. and reconnect the overflow radiator hose back into the radiator.
Next, reattach your upper radiator hose. And reinstall that plastic fascia piece earlier. Then, replace the coolant, and you're all done. Be sure to check back later because we will have a video up explaining how to charge an AC system after replacing a condenser. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please visit twocarpros.com.